numbers. I forgot I mentioned that on my last block. You know what? The set is starting. On small battlefield, which is an interesting gentleman's because that's the only way you're going to see this stage as a starter, as a starter here at Zeno yeah. because it's a counter pick in this rule set. Yeah, but I think, like, I don't think either of these players want to take the other character to PS2. I mean, I'd, I'd imagine FD isn't really something that these guys are interested in yeah. either. And, like, Town and Smashville are both so volatile in the other favor. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a pretty neutral stage in the matchup. Yeah, and, like, you don't want Battlefield as well, because... Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, actually, I would actually say, like, Yoshi is probably the one who doesn't want Battlefield. Hero yeah. is really good on that stage. Yeah. I mean, Yoshi doesn't really have bad stages, no, but, but... I think it, it's also definitely, like, a player preference thing, too, mm -hmm. with a lot of these things. Like, I know a lot of people who just will ban stages even if their character is conventionally good on it, just because they don't like it. It, right absolutely i love that the fireball charge there from vv just trying to threaten a little bit of space get in for some, some options and a kill yeah. oh, just a second later gonna find it and close out that first stock jdc and this pressure from vv defensively has been on point but now pink Chief managing to find an opening they're playing very well right now yeah no resources but gets back the ground pound, but just going through. Vivi just wants to chill out, take this lead to the bank, taking the space. Yoshi gets the pressure hero to not burn MP for free, right? You can't get all your buffs for free. Yep, and, and I, I love yeah. Vivi's willingness as well to take, you know, and say, I'm not going to get oomph even though I want that right now because I don't want to get hit for getting this buff. Exactly. I don't want to put myself in disadvantage, especially against a character like Yoshi who has really good tools to contest hero off stage. They can go all the way out there after you and that double jump armor, so it's hard to contest. Yep. Good stuff from Pink Cheat, evening it up right now. And now both players are gonna just try and look to find that opening. Vivi managed to find the buffs, but it was Pink Cheat able to find that first set of percent. Now with that egg lay, gonna rack on a, just some stage control here and keep this advantage state going. But Vivi smartly prioritizing center stage here and just opting to reset. Yeah, Pink Chi is really like Yoshi Shield is such a strong thing in this matchup, and Pink Chi is doing such a good job of run up shield, use the narrative shield, understanding that you can take these throws, you can take these hits, you're so heavy. Hero doesn't really have great ways to kill you without the menu. Or Ow. without obviously a Kafriz like we saw in the first stock. But Vivi hasn't really had good ways of like really killing Pinchy outside of that. And watch how Vivi is positioning themselves here. They're trying intentionally to always stay around one of these platforms forms, such that they might at low percents be able to tech their way out of some of Yoshi's juggles. At high percents, give themselves some extra mix-ups, places to land to get away, as well as to say, hey, Yoshi, I know you want to be in the air. I know you're going to double jump armor. I'm just trying to give you a place to trap your landing, limit your space, and also limit your ability to kind of land on me with these falling aerials uncontested. Yeah, absolutely. Pink Chi, oh, tries to get the jab lock, but no dice. And Vivi finally running up and grabbing. And I think you're going to see some more rock, paper, scissors around the shield. The oh, snooze no. and you're dead, dead. Yeah. Psych up forward smash. Goodbye. Yeah. And that looked like it might have been a crit as well. Didn't matter. It's, I know. I was going to say, it does not matter at that percent. But for good measure, yeah. you know, getting that little bit of RNG on your side, always a nice thing at the end of the day. Hey, I love that that thunder side beat from Vivi there, just utilizing the get off me tool that that move has to offer, uh -huh. and that snooze to boot just threatening the low space, forcing once again Pink Cheat to stay on this platform. That being said, they're doing a much better job now as the set goes on, adjusting to how Vivi's playing around the platform, finding these fault landing back airs, but just hasn't been able to find the right hit to get that drag down that Yoshi really finds those early stops. For sure, off of. and Vivi going off with the accelerator here, not quite finding the follow up. They're just playing at the bin rage, kind of just utilizing the sword, utilizing the thunder, and the great sizzle switches the spell. Pink Cheat nodding. Respect to Vivi. A really good set of adaptations from both players in game one. But it was, I mean, absol I absolutely agree. But at the end of the day, it was Vivi who kind of just was ahead from the get go and kind of just stayed one yeah. step ahead. And I will say, um, you men we I was talking about a little bit about RNG, made me think. Is there something with Hero's Thwack chances changing on the timer? Because I know with Game & Watch, right, you in get 56% 9 yeah, for 9, because you get a 50% chance for a guaranteed 9 or 56% or, or a 50 <laughs> chance for normal 1 and 9 odds. But I, I wonder if there's anything similar with Thwack. I'm not sure. Because it seems like the type of mechanic it would be, but... Yeah, I've never thought about it. But, like, I don't know if anyone's actually labbed that, because it's so niche. Well, you can go lab it yourself, maybe, True. if you're that curious. Or any of, any of you at home.
Call to action. Yeah, call to action. Uh, go and let us know down in Twitch chat or the YouTube comments down below uh, how that interaction works. Absolutely. There is one. Let's see. Double jump armor to the forward air here. You're going to see a lot of, like, I was worried of a jab block there. I think that VB is definitely figuring it out. They're doing a good job of just kind of playing a more standard zoner-ish game plan, keeping Ping Cheat away with the powerful mid-range tools that Hero has. A early kaboom to just explode the stock. I feel like VB has gotten the perfect spells every time they needed them, and playing that stock, even though they really were aggressive on their MP usage there, the fact they've only taken 25% here means that they have every opportunity to build it back up. Now you're back in that 30 range where all your spells are online. You don't necessarily want to go back down here, but you are more than content to do so if it means you can find your openings. Absolutely. And Vivi, ha Vivi loves dumping MP early and making it all back through hits and timing, which is like an interesting way to view like the, you invest it all early to get it back later, wow. right? Vivi went all the way out there with those combo buffs. I love the thwack attempt. You might as well invite up a stock, even though it reduces wow, the percent there high enough. And the back air call up. Just picking up Pink Cheat's habits. Only 54% here. And Vivi, such an adaptation warlord. If you've played them, you understand what it's like. Uh, one, of, one of the bosses of New York City, oh, for yeah. sure. It's like, it's like Numbers, Fawn, and Vivi. Numbers, Fawn, like, Vivi. And Gen, like, Gen when he shows yeah, up. Yeah, Gen Zamba when they show up. Carflow when he's on. Yeah. But like, that's like... Vivi is one of the most consistent players oh, in the city in the hatchet, man. No. And you you could that tell is... that Pink Cheat just wasn't ready for it because <laughs> as they saw the menu go up, they saw the spell select and said, okay, I can drop and get a punish here. But they they very clearly weren't reading because you see this is the, this they is, don't notice it's that the it's hatchet, man. This is the trap that a lot of players will fall into when they play against Hero where... You need to be aware of every single spell on the menu. You can't just look at the one that's currently being hovered. Like And Vivi just like Vivi's I don't know oh. I don't know how Vivi Same. gets in the head like that. Yeah, Vivi's charging it. But then as you go, right, as you go forward here, is halfway through the animation and it's just long enough. Yeah. Off, it's just long enough that it makes you think hey, they didn't pick anything. They canceled out of the menu, and then it rears forward and just exactly. guaranteed crits you. But also, like, a lot of players, and I mean, obviously, none of us are really strangers to this, mm -hmm. where it's like, you know how sometimes you're playing, and you, like, sort of almost mentally buffer yourself the next action mm -hmm. that you're going to do? This is definitely a case where Pink Cheat thought to himself, I'm just going to do drop, I'm going to do platform drop back air right here. And you can't always look at the screen and react all the time, right? Absolutely. And... Well, I'm sorry. Like, this is just absurd. It's, every a, it's an time. absurd call out. It really is. Like, there is no rhyme or reason as to why that's happening. Well, but it's also Yoshi's landing. Like, if I'm Vivi, I probably go for the same thing. And Vivi's a much better player than me. But every Yoshi in the world loves to drop through B oh, Reverse yeah. Egg Lay there. So, you, you know, Yoshi's probably.